Good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam and I have another tufting video where today I'm gonna show you how I built my very own custom tufting frame from scratch as cheaply as possible. Let's get started. Let me kind of show you why I actually need a new tufting frame. So right now, I have this massive frame right here. It's like five feet by five feet. Really great for getting awesome big projects done. But I wish I had something a little bit smaller. And that's where this new frame comes in. First things first, I'm gonna have to figure out how much material I need in order to build this frame. And that's gonna require a little bit of math. But hang in there, I swear it's not gonna be bad. Hello and welcome to Frame Building 101. The frame we have here is 36 inches by 36 inches in a perfect square. And this can be a perfect 36 inch piece of wood. Now when we look at these side pieces, you'll notice that we want this section right here to be 36 inches, but we're also gonna have a little bit extra right here at the top. And that part is gonna be half, one and a half inches bigger. And something that I like to include in my frames is this extra wing piece right here. This makes it so that you can apply a clamp so that you can work from any space. I decided to make mine an extra six inches. We have our inside dimension, that is gonna be 36 inches. Now we also have this extra size right here, and then we have our six inches on both sides. 49, 50, wait. So that's gonna be 55 inches in total. We're gonna to have this top part up here that's gonna hold our hooks, and once you have all of that, you can figure out how much lumber you're gonna need. Good luck. Now that we have all of our planning complete, it's time to head over to go shopping. <laughs> Let's go. Now this is a really great project because there's not a whole lot of things that you need to get. Most of it is comprised of the wood you see right here. Now the great thing about going to a store like this is that they will cut it to the exact dimensions that you give them. It's just super convenient. All the items you see here I will have listed in the description below along with the total cost it took me to actually complete this full frame. And our grand total comes out to be... Welcome back, it is the next day and I'm finally ready to get started on making this frame. But first, there were a few extra things that I needed to get together that I kinda just have with me at home and I feel like most people would have with them. If you don't have it, definitely borrow it from your dad. If you can't borrow it from your dad, I'd say maybe go to some store where you can rent it from. Now the first thing that I have with me is a drill, really important. I also have these drill bits, this cute tiny little hammer, some safety glasses, and gloves, as well as my very important assistant, kitchen. Oops, I forgot to mention you're also gonna need a ruler or tape measure, a pencil, as well as a saw, or serrated knife. I really do enjoy getting to do like all of these woodworking projects. And so one thing I learned is that you actually, when you're drilling into hardwood, you usually like to do something called a pilot hole. And that just makes it so that your wood's not gonna split when you actually put the screw in. Yeah, I don't know. There's just like something that's really empowering about building something from scratch. Coming up with an idea, deciding that you wanna make it, and then actually doing it. And so for this project, I'm gonna end up using these number eight, two and a half screws from the variety pack. It's just working with my hands is very different to what I was doing before I was rug making. I was mostly just sitting at a computer at my desk, typing away, clicking away, and it was just so boring. This is just so much more fun. Okay, now I'm gonna take my screws and I'm going to put them into the frame. Kitchen, I need you to stand back. Over here. I almost forgot, you need a tape measure or a ruler. That's just so that you can make sure that our base is going to be even on both sides. I guess you also need a pencil too. Let me grab one. And I measured it to be six inches on both sides. And I'm just using two screws for each section. I'm just kind of eyeballing where I put in. Woo! I get a little sweaty when I do this. All right, one last screw. Now there is definitely a right and a wrong way to put the carpet strips on. You want the pointy side to be facing away from the center of your rug. 
if you don't do this, it's not gonna hold the fabric at all. So as it turns out, I forgot that we also need to cut these little carpet strips. However, it's actually very easy to do that. I would recommend using a saw if you have one. But if you don't have a saw, literally just a serrated knife will work perfectly. That'll work just fine. And then I'll just take my saw. I'll go ahead and just... And you don't even have to go all the way through. Just once you feel like you hit a good amount. And then you can literally just snap it in half. Once you have all lined up, Okay, last night I realized they made a little tiny mistake. So the pack of three carpet strips that I get theoretically should have been enough to go all the way around the frame. However, there's one section that's gonna be like parts of these three tiny broken ones. And I mean, it'll still fit the rest of the frame, but I think I want it to just be one full piece. So I'm gonna head back over to the store to get one more carpet tack strip. And then we can finally finish this up. Our frame is looking super good, but you can see when I give it a little shake, it's still a bit wobbly. And so to fix that, we're gonna add these braces in all four corners and that's gonna support it a lot better. And just like that, our frame is super strong and sturdy. No more wiggle. It is not going anywhere. We are almost there. Now we just have to add our two hooks to the frame. And now for the final reveal. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you learned something new about how to create your very own custom tufting frame. In the end, I ended up spending about $64, which I think is an awesome price for a DIY frame that you make at home. I am super excited to start making some medium to small sized rugs with this frame, and I hope you all subscribe so you don't miss any of the things that I make. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.